Welcome to the River Preserve County Park here in Elkhart County. It is the county's largest park, and you're going to find out more about it in just a moment as we speak with Larry Neff, who is the superintendent of parks for Elkhart County. But first, I want to talk to Marla. Of course, Marla Miller, a regular here on this segment that is sponsored by Elkhart County Living Magazine. And we're just going to go back and issue Marla to this uh, June-July edition of the Elkhart County Living Magazine good reason to go back into this issue because we're going to look at the wild side of Elkhart County in here, aren't we? And you will read in there all the different areas that you can actually get into the preserve and take some walks through the through the um, paths, come out to the gardens. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. I've enjoyed my time walking out here. And that issue of the magazine will tell you just all the places that you can go. If you want to see the magazine, it's still available on racks, or you can go on our website at maplecitymedia.com, click on that magazine, and you can you can pull up that story. Well, wonderful. We're going to talk more to Marlon just a little bit about what else is in the past edition and current edition of Elkhart County Living Magazine. But with us now is Larry Neff. And Larry, good to see you. How are you today? Just fine. Isn't the weather beautiful out here? It is very beautiful. <laughs> it's a great day to be in the center of a park and not just a park, but Elkhart County's largest, as we've said. And Larry, tell us a little bit about the garden we're standing in front of. You call this a calendar garden. Yes, this is a calendar garden. It's uh, every month of the year, every season, every month, every day we hit peaks as you walk around the garden. And we're standing here in August right now, so this would be around the end of July, 1st of August. The flowers, perennials that would be at their peak bloom during that period. Uh, that's behind us. In front of us is the... I would say the natural habitat of Elkhart County that would be bloomed, blooming at this time sure, of the year. Sure. Now, this project actually behind us wasn't something that you just cooked up overnight. Uh, it's been in the process, continues to be nurtured by one very special person who about five years ago had an idea, huh? Well, that's pretty much true. Yeah, John Cutrell uh, came up with the idea and sold it. In fact, all of these plants, all of the walks, the pond has all been through volunteer and donations. So he's done a wonderful job. We're probably somewhere in our fifth year when this was just basically a prairie planting and none of what you see was here. Larry, can you take us back maybe a little bit further as to the very beginning of the park and maybe where you got the property in the first place? Well, the River Preserve came to us uh, from Nipsco. This was, uh, we have three hydroelectric sites as well as the Goshen Dam. And so to generate that electricity, they had to, the hydroelectric power, they had to own the land that was flooded during that time from the dams. And so when they ceased hydroelectric production, they gave the land in about 1,000 acres or 1,100, somewhere in that range, to the Elkhart County Park Department in its infancy back in about 1968. Interesting, interesting. Well, it's a great park. Obviously, things that you normally would see in a park are here and things that maybe you wouldn't expect are here. Personally speaking, I'm pretty intrigued about your hiking trails. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, there's quite a few miles of hiking trail. I suppose we're up to five or six miles of trails. Many of them follow the old canal systems, and there is two canal systems, different canal systems, in this park. We call one the Benton Hydro Canal System. And then we have the Bainertown Hydro Canal System. There are trails along them as well as loop trails off that that go through the woods, below the dams. Uh, there's quite a variety of different kinds of trails. Now, Larry, I'm sure people watching maybe over in St. Joe, Joe County or other places that aren't really familiar with what we're talking about here may want to come out and visit yet this year. What would be the best way, uh, in your estimation, of getting people here? Can you give us a quick little um, piece of direction maybe that would help? Well, the easiest way probably would become south of Goshen on State Road 15. And we're about two or three miles uh, south off on what's called the Huntington Road or County Road 29. And that would take you to Bainertown, which is a pretty large holding. There's several, maybe 200 acres or 300. Now, the, at that particular site, another way would be going down US 33 out of Goshen south to Benton. And on 33 and Benton at the Elkhart River is Benton Landing. What about a website or phone number? We have all of that, ElkhartCountyParks.com, uh, I guess. <laughs> and a phone number is 574-535-6458. Very good, Larry. Well, we could spend a lot more time here, but uh, we are limited today because of the format of the program. But I uh, hope you enjoy the shots of this beautiful preserve here in Elkhart County. And with all due respect, maybe one of the best kept secrets in the county, Larry. 
Well, it may be now, but we hope in the future it won't be. Thank you very much. Thank you. Larry Neff joining us here on the program. And uh, Marla, you can just stay right here if you don't mind, Larry. Uh, Marla, tell us a little bit about the uh, new magazine that's already on the stands. Of course, the one that Larry's featured in is the June-July edition. And what about August and September? What can viewers expect? August and September, we've got a great feature in there on Pampered Pets. Uh, we've got a feature on ATVs. You know, those are, it's still a great time season to be riding those. Um, we've got um, great feature in there also on knitting and how big that has become um, for both men and women, a, a hobby there. Uh, we talk about, of course, all the different events going on within the, the area with our calendar and our state map. And we've got a lot of information in there on living green as well and some health information. So there's just a variety of articles in the magazine. So you need to either stop by Magazine Rack, pick those up, or you can call 574 533 2151 extension 346 and ask for a subscription or you can stop in at the Goshen News and pick one up or like I said the website you can also check it out there and get a subscription there. Sounds great and living green is really what we're doing out here today. You can't get much greener than this Marla. You can't and I would love to stay the whole day. It's great here. <laughs> it is. Thank you Marla and thanks again to Larry Neff and uh, folks again if you'd like more information you can go to our website as well at my friend. Fresh.tv. We'll be back in just a bit. Stay tuned.